how about starting the quadrant benchmark? Okay. So that's the quadrant standard benchmark, which is also capable of uh, benchmarking now multi-core SOCs. I know that on the Samsung Galaxy S2 with this Quadrant version I got roughly around 4000 points. So I'm definitely curious what's happening here with the Quad-Core Tegra 3. I think it's looking pretty good. Okay, almost two more. Now there should be the planet. Here we go. Oh, by the way, this is a super IPS uh, display. So that's not an OLED or an ARM OLED, that's an IPS display. And of course, a capacitive multi touch screen. Let's see. So that's 3967. That's uh, pretty much the same result that I'm getting on my Samsung Galaxy S2. How about um, the Velamo benchmark? Let's see how that works. If it works. Because normally it's optimized for uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon. Well, it seems to work. You know what, how about stopping here and we are coming back to you when we are through this benchmark because that's a long one. Here we go, so it's 1232 and I think the, uh, the Galaxy S2 is around 1100 something so it has a little bit more performance here. Uh, one more, what about the Nenemark? I only got our. That's quite interesting when I'm going back to the home screen. Sometimes uh, coming up with this loading widget. Here we go. Um, so here's the Nanomark. Let's try this one. Let's see how many frames we're getting. Okay, 57.8 frames a second. Okay, let's go back to the home screen again. And um, let's open a browser and let's do the Sun Spider. Here we go. This will take again a while, so I'll be back soon. Here we go. So it's 2754.9 milliseconds. Keep in mind, you need to run this at least two or three times. Um, I'm sure that might go down a little bit um, to maybe 1800. I'm not sure how it will look like if you're just using the Chrome Better Browser. What about Opera? What about uh, um, Firefox, but we've been already seeing Tegra 3 results at around 1600 milliseconds. So I'm doubting that this is a matter of the hardware, um, it might be more a matter of the browser.